is Jim with Rupert's Woodworks, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bank from an old post office door. Uh, you can just make a box. I added some splines here. Uh, this is walnut and maple. You don't have to add the splines if you don't want, but it adds strength to it and it gives it a nicer look. So today you want to see how I made this antique looking post office bank. Stick with me. And I'll show you how. Pre cut the walnut pieces. I will put a link in the description for a cut list for the dimensions. I dry fit it here just to give you an idea of what it would look like. Uh, next, I applied some glue, spread it around evenly, and then I will clamp all the pieces together. You can use a brush to smooth it around, I just use my finger just because it's easier. In the background of this shot you can see two banks that I previously made. Hopefully this one will turn out similar to the dark walnut one closest to you. In my previous builds I have always glued and clamped together with the actual post office door in the box when clamping down. This makes for a tighter fit. I didn't have an extra so I just clamped without it. I put a piece of wax paper between my pipe clamps and the box itself just so that it doesn't adhere to the pipes and make for more of a mess. I let this sit overnight just to make sure that it was nice and dry and then I was able to remove the clamps. There was a blue buildup. I was able to take a small chisel and scrape it off or if you have a wood scraper you could use that as well. The next thing I did was sand with an 80 grit sandpaper which is nice and rough. Um, this helps remove all the excess glue and it helps to ensure that everything is nice and flush. The next thing I did, I took it over to my table saw where I have my spline jig that I use for picture frames and especially these banks. I've made quite a few of these. Um, you don't have to add the splines it does add a little character to the bank or to whatever you are building. It also adds a lot of added strength. Um, for this, I just kept rotating the bank itself and sliding it over my dado stack. You can make thick splines or skinnier splines depending on the look you are going for. You can also make the splines longer uh, just by raising the blade. I had some extra pieces from a bank I made before for the splines. I marked them with a pencil so that I don't put too much glue and it gives me a target of where I want to apply glue. I apply it to both sides, smooth it out with my finger, and then just slide them in. I let these set up and dry overnight. Uh, there's a lot of excess material though so to get rid of that I used my flush trim saw to cut off the excess. You could use your band saw just the same. And there's a close up. Next thing I did was take it over to the router where I used a round over bit to round over all the corners just so that I didn't have any sharp edges. And Again, it adds a little character to the bank itself. Next thing I did was take it over to the drill press. I marked off uh, center spots of where I wanted to drill the coin slot. I used a small bit for this and went down the line with my drill bit and drilled holes the whole way across. I used a stop block so I didn't go too far. 
and slowly slid the drill bit back and forth to create a slot. I know you can use a router for this. Um, I don't have a fence on my router table, so this was the easiest option. I then used a hand file to smooth the coin slot. I then sanded it down all the way to 220 to make sure it was nice and smooth and then applied my boiled linseed oil. Uh, this really works well, brings out the grain and I had it in my shop. In the past I've added felt to the inside to line the banks. Uh, for this one here I just left it bare. So that's pretty much it. I put two coats of linseed oil on the bank uh, while that one's setting up. Um, afterwards, you can put the door on it. And that's pretty much it. So if you're interested in uh, the splines and the spline jig that I had, I got my idea from Nick Ferry from Ferry Built. So if you're interested in this spline jig, I'll put a link in the bottom to his YouTube channel. And uh, you can check it out. Um, thanks for the sticker, Nick. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Make a bank. Leave a comment. Like. Share. I'd appreciate any of them. Uh, if you have a picture of your bank, you can post it in the comments. I'd love to see how it turned out. So uh, I want to thank you for watching. And take care.